Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Megan and I make crochet videos and weekend vlogs on this channel. Today's video I am super excited about because it's going to be a crochet with me and I'm going to be making Kai from EXO's Knitted Hood. So if you've clicked on this video not knowing who Kai is, basically he is from a K-pop group called EXO and he is one of the members and also a solo artist. I do follow him on Instagram and way back, I can't remember when, I saw a picture of him wearing this hood. I think it was on a radio show. And afterwards I did a quick Google search and found out that it was from the brand JW Anderson. Now I have already featured a recreation of the JW Anderson Harry Styles cardigan on my channel, so I'll have that linked on screen right now. So we're going to try and copy JW Anderson again, but this time with this knitted hood. On their website, this costs £305 in the UK, but because I am broke and I know I can recreate this for myself, that is exactly what I'm going to do, just using a crochet instead of knitting. I'm even wearing my yellow hat in homage to Kai's hood. And I'm also wearing my fuzzy peach slippers in honour of Kai. If you know, you know. Okay, before I show you how to make this hood, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get started. So disclaimer before we begin, this is not an official pattern for the JW Anderson knitted hood. This is just something that I'm creating for the fun of it. And if you want to follow along, you can do, I'll show you how to do it, but just know that I am making this up as I go along. So I spent a shameful amount of time, I'm not going to tell you how long I spent looking at images of this knitted hood online, because I wanted to try and replicate it as closely as possible to the original, and I came up with this very professional looking plan. So my plan is to create three panels for this hood, so the two side panels and then one down the middle with um, some sort of ribbing around the front to frame the hood. So I'm beginning with the two side panels which originally uses a reverse jersey or garter stitch in knitting terms but for this I used a Tunisian pearl stitch to create a similar effect. Where is my hook actually? Does anyone else put the hook down and then just... Oh, I'm sat on it. <laughs> okay, so after that drama, um, I don't have a standard Tunisian crochet hook, which I believe is much longer and can be wooden or plastic. Um, so I'm using this five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I tried my best to scout for the same mustard yellow color that Kai had for his hood. Um, but I could not find any, I was not lucky in that department. So instead I went for this colour. It is a chunky acrylic yarn from, well this is the brand, it's Teddy Classic. It doesn't have a shade colour, it just says shade 2101. Um, I picked this up from my local market, which was cool. And it's a really pretty emerald green colour. But it has little flecks of like turquoise and mustard and brown in it, I think. Or maybe it's just mustard and it gives off like this brown tinge. Okay, so to start off this side panel, I'm going to start off with a slip knot, pop that on my hook, and I'm going to chain 30. Now, for this stitch, I've used a YouTube tutorial, which I'll have linked below, because it was really helpful if you're new to Tunisian crochet. Uh, some videos I've seen in the past explain it quite confusingly but this one was really simple and effective so definitely watch that if you don't know how to do this stitch. Okay so I'm going to start off with the foundation row and I'm going to work from the second chain from the hook into these sort of like back bars on the chain. They sort of look like little little bumps on the back. So from the second chain I'm going to put my hook under the first little bump on the back and pull up a loop and then I'm going to go into the next little bump on the back don't know how else to describe this and pull up another loop and you're essentially just going to carry on down the chain until you have loads of loops on your hook and as you can see the hook or at least my hook because it's not long enough gets quite compact with the amount of loops on so just be careful it doesn't go slipping off the edge either and from here we're going to work our way back 
So we're going to start off by yarn over and pulling through one loop, which creates a chain. And then for the rest of this row, we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops at a time. Ooh. And that is our foundation row. So I've just counted and you should have 29 stitches and it should measure about 20 centimeters wide, which mine does. And I'm just going to continue making rows of this Tunisian pearl stitch so that I have a rectangle that measures 20 centimeters wide and 27 centimeters long. Now I'm not going to go through this stitch in depth because like I said that tutorial explains it way better than I ever could. <laughs> but just know that if you're a beginner to this stitch like I am then it's okay if you're really slow because so am I. I also think this hood originally used a much um, thicker yarn. I think it was probably like a merino wool that was super chunky. So they've probably worked this up much faster than I am right now. Um, but it's still gonna be cozy, I think. The first few rows are always kind of fiddly because I don't know, I find that with any crochet project. Is anyone else like that? I know I've been crocheting for like a, uh, over a year and a half at this point but there's still some things that I feel like I'm a complete beginner at or don't know properly. I think it's imposter syndrome or some form of imposter syndrome. <laughs> okay so what I think I'm gonna do because I know this takes me so long to knit, I was, oh my god I nearly said knit then, it takes me so long to crochet this up. I am going to save you the time and skip to when I have two side panels. Okay, so it's been about a day or so since the last clip I filmed where I started that panel. Uh, it took me a bit longer just because I was finishing up this other crochet project, which actually I'm going to show you real quick. This is a new little corset waistcoat that I've just finished. But yeah, this is going up for sale tomorrow, so if you're interested, I'll link below. But anyway, back to this project. This is the finished panel. All I have left to do is bind off across the top. So to make sure it was 27 centimetres long, I ended up doing about 33 rows. And to bind off, I'm just gonna use a slip stitch. So I'm just gonna go under the first bar and then through the top of that loop. So for this, instead of the 5.5mm crochet hook that I used for those, I'm going to switch to a 6.5. Also, instead of using the Tunisian pearl stitch like we did for these, I'm going to switch to a waistcoat stitch for the next panel because apparently it replicates a similar knitting stitch to the jersey or stocking stitch. One observation that I have made though is that I'm kind of running low on this green yarn. Um, this is how much I have left from 100 grams. It looks an absolute mess right now. So I think a trip to the market is going to be needed. Um, I'm going to see how much I can get done with this and then show you my progress. Okay, so for the last panel that's going to run down the middle of the hood, I know that the length is going to be something around 47 centimetres because it's got to go across and then down towards the back of the neck. And then as for the width of this next panel, I figured I would just measure um, from my hairline here over across here. Like last time, I measured from the collar to this top point in my hairline. I'm just going to do the same, but across. It's looking like 15 centimetres. Let's start with a slip knot. Like I said, change into a six and a half millimeter crochet hook for this next panel. And I'm gonna chain a length of 15 centimeters. And I am going to single crochet in those little back bumps again across the top, like we did with the first panels. So second chain from the hook, going into the little back bump. 
and making a single crochet. So this is just the foundation row and then we will get started on the waistcoat stitch. Wait, can I do rows of waistcoat stitch? Because I've only ever seen them do it in the round. Oh, let me check again. Okay, one sec. <laughs> okay, so I've just watched another video and I was right. Usually the waistcoat stitch is only used in the round, but it can be used for rows like this. So apparently, following this video, I'm going to chain one and turn and then I'm going to do a regular single crochet and then go into the waistcoat stitch. So instead of going through the top of the stitch like you normally would, you're going to go through the V shape underneath. Okay, so at the end of my row, I'm going to make a normal single crochet again. So essentially I'm bookending each row with a normal crochet. Right, so I'm going to carry on with the waistcoat stitch for this panel and it's going to take me a while. So I'm going to put on the Tinder Swindler. Is that what it's called? That documentary. Um, and we're going to try and get as much done as we can today. Let's go. And we're back home. So the yarn has been obtained. Let me show you what I got. Bear with. Vegan sausage roll. So I picked up another one of the green. I also picked up, because why not, um, two of these cotton yarns, 100% um, cotton, 100 grams each. I'm trying to make the switch to cotton with most of my projects um, because I did a poll on Instagram and that seemed like the most favourable choice. So I got this off-white cream colour almost like the colour of my hat actually and then I also picked up this colour which as you can tell I was inspired by my bedroom walls little mini yarn haul for you and remember if you do run out but you need to pick up another ball of yarn take the label that you originally had and make sure that it's the same uh, batch number or in this case dye lot as the one you're buying Okay, welcome back to the finished centre panel. Okay, so now I've finished with my last row. I'm just going to tie off here. So chain one, trim my working yarn and pull that through. And then I think now we have all three panels and it's time to construct this hood. Um, right, so <laughs> I've tried undoing this and I don't know what the hell I have done, but I, I, I just, I think I'm going to start this centre panel again. <laughs> Please give this video a like, just for pure consolation of what I'm doing right now. And we are back where we were. I can't tell you how many rows I have made in total. All I did was count across roughly where I'm gonna put um, a slip stitch when I construct it all together. And it's gonna total to about 62 across this edge. I've just measured and it's 41 centimeters long. So that's how big this middle panel is. So now I'm going to grab one of my side panels and I'm going to place it wrong sides together and slip stitch to attach them. Um, I'm placing them wrong sides together because I like the idea of seeing the bulky seam on the outside of the hood across the long edge here of the side panel and then the middle panel sort of bends across. And then I'm also going to attach it across the short edge here. Hi 
friends, we're very nearly there with the hood. Just excuse these bits, they will be sorted out in a bit. This is what it looks like so far. And now we are going to focus on this front section. So the original hood looks like it uses the same reverse jersey stitch that it does on the side panel, but it's much chunkier around the front. So what I'm going to do is create a separate front piece for the hood. And instead of just using one strand of yarn, I'm going to use two. And I'm going to stick with my six and a half millimetre crochet hook and use the Tunisian pearl stitch. stitch and then going into the next stitch on the front piece, next stitch on the side panel, slip stitch and then I'm going to go into the same stitch on this front piece but the next stitch on the side panel and slip stitch. Well, this is kind of awkward because I finished the hood. So I finished this in the late hours of last night. You would have seen me slip stitch this front piece together in the centre. But then all I did was create this twisted cord, which I've never done before. And I didn't film because, to be honest, it would have been boring, it was just me twisting pieces of yarn together. So in total I used nine pieces of yarn that measured, I think it was like 60 inches long. And then to create these drawstring details, really simple, I just weaved it in and out of the stitches along the edge here. And I started like three stitches in and then started weaving it on the fourth stitch. So yeah, now if you pull on these, it draws in the front of the hood so you can either have it loose like this or kind of fitted around the face. So yeah here it is in its full finished glory and now I think it's about time I show you what it looks like on. I know this journey was totally chaotic and it's become more of a vlog than a tutorial, let's be honest. Of course, feel free to use this pattern. I'm using that term loosely. Hi everyone, so I wanted to jump in quickly here to tell you that to celebrate reaching a mini milestone on this channel, I am going to be hosting my first ever giveaway. The winner of the giveaway will receive one of these crochet hoods. Of course, the only difference is the colour. I chose this icy blue grey shade, which I thought was quite neutral and so would go with a lot of outfits. I'm not going to lie, I did perfect the pattern a little bit with this one, so it's a lot better fitting, I think. So, I will pick a winner on the 1st of April and I'm opening this giveaway up to those in the UK. All you have to do to win this hood is do three things. Number one, make sure you are subscribed to this channel down below. Number two, head over to my Instagram at Doody's Crochet and follow me over there. And number three, go to this post and tag one friend. I'll make sure that on the next milestone for this channel, I will open the giveaway up internationally and I'll sort out all of the postage and things. So get entering if you want to be twinning with me in our hoods. And thank you for all the support as always back to the video. Well I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said at the beginning make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know and subscribe for more. And I'll definitely keep an eye out for any more K-pop, K-drama related fashion and see if I can recreate it with crochet because I know 
it, uh, Jenna from NCT Dream, his like crochet waistcoat got really popular on TikTok for example. So if you know anything similar like that then comment down below and I'll have a look into it. As always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.